we discuss the ice crystal formation. Freezing is actually crystallization because when liquid is converted into solid, you call it crystallization, and this is same happen with water. And crystallization occur through two stage. These are called nucleation and crystal growth. Nucleation means in Vietnamese TMTT, and the other one LLTT. What is TMTT? Tạo mầm tinh thể. Okay. And what is LLTT? Exactly, lớn lên của tinh thể. Okay. That's called crystal growth. Freezing or crystallization occur through two stages. Nucleation and crystal growth. What this is nucleation means the formation of very small crystal. This is nucleation and crystal growth is that the liquid water here continue to crystallize on this nuclear and then this is grow and this is grow. Okay, and that is crystal growth. And these pro two processes, which one occur faster, which one dominate the process depending on which one dominate the process depending on the supercooling. What is supercooling? This is actually the point S. You see the S in the previous figure that we draw? Super cooling. Okay, means that it's actually the freezing rate. The race says you do the freezing. If you do fast, then you have higher super cooling. If you do slowly, then you have lower super cooling. Okay, now the velocity means the rate means the top law of these two processes. Here, when you do slow freezing, when you do slow freezing somewhere maybe here, which process occur at higher rate, higher velocity? Crystal growth. When you do fast freezing here, when you do fast freezing, which one dominate? Nucleation. You see that when you increase the supercooling or you increase the freezing rate, now the nucleation dominate you see the rate of nucleation increases very fast compared to the crystal growth and the result is when you do fast freezing the result is there are many many what small crystal right when you do slow freezing, there are time for the crystal to, to grow. So, less number, but larger in size. When we do slow freezing, we have less number of crystal, but large crystals. And then what? Process fast or slow freezing will damage more the texture, the structure, the food. Slow or fast? Mm. Slow. Because you see the lost crystal will break more the, the, the texture. Right? So we will explain in the next slide, some of the next slide. But just add um, here. So now we go further. When we do fast freezing, we produce high number, large number of small eye crystal. This is fast freezing. It's a slow freezing. When we do slow freezing, it takes a substantial amount of time, long time for the food to go down from zero to minus five, right? So the food stay quite a long time in this zone of temperature. 
And this zone is called critical zone. When you hear the word critical means that it's positive or negative, at least most of the time, negative. Critical. This zone is called critical zone. If the food stay in this zone for a long time, means that you have slow freezing. Means that you increase the size of your crystal. and You have less number of crystal. We have another concept here, we call it glass transition. Glass transition temperature of beef mushroom is about minus 12 degrees C. So when you do fast freezing and you lower to this range of temperature, minus 12, here you have glass transition. So this is similar like ice, but it's not actually ice, they call it glass. Okay, when you do fast freezing, you lower down to minus 12 below very fast, you obtain a state you call it glass transition. Means so many small crystal, and then the food is hard, means the viscosity is very high, but it's brittle because it's glass, and viscosity is very high, means the system is actually blocked. It doesn't move anywhere because you have a network of so many small crystals blocked together and you have a stake like glass in the window here. And this is actually good stake for storage, for frozen storage. If you maintain at that state a long time, then all reaction become very slow. Bigger components are blocked, they cannot move, they cannot react. Okay, I have another question here. When we do fast freezing and we do slow freezing, which case, which process we obtain more ice, fast or slow, more amount of ice, fast or slow? This is when you do slow, this is when you do fast. When you do fast freezing, you obtain many ants you know ants when you do slow freezing you obtain several frog okay you have maybe here a thousand ants here you have here only two frogs in which case you have higher amount two frogs can eat all thousand ants you get the point you do fast freezing, you obtain so many crystals, but the crystals are too small. Here you have less crystal, but they are large, so actually the amount is much higher. Okay, you go back here. now. I think um, where I draw, not this one. When you do slow freezing, actually you have more eyes. You obtain more eyes because there is time for crystallization. And most of the frozen nubble, or all frozen nubble now get frozen into ice because there is time for that. When you do fast freezing, you obtain small crystal and then here you obtain, you call this glass, everything is blocked. Very small crystal, so many. But total amount is less. 